Hello there and welcome. My name is Linda and my channel is called Linda T70 um, and I cover sort of plus size fashion, lifestyle um, and if you haven't met me before you're very welcome. Today is my first ever collaboration and I'm thrilled to have been invited by the Transatlantic Housewives of YouTube to join them on their Sunday Sunshine Show. Um, I'm a great fan of all the ladies as I'm sure a lot of you are but it's, it, I, you know, I really am thrilled to, to have been invited. Um, I'm sure you know them but just in case we have Tina's, Tina from Tina's Talk Time, we have Karen the Geordie Grandma, we have Busy Bee Marie she lives in Las Vegas, so hence the, the transatlantic spin on the, this uh, on these videos. And um, last but not least, the uh, lovely Maria Crocker. Um, the ladies do lots of diff... Well, we will kind of do similar things, I suppose, but everyone's different, aren't they? You watch people, everyone's got different take on, takes on stuff. And they do a mixture of um, fashion, travel, cooking, um, lifestyle. Um, and I shall put some links in the description box so you can go and have a look at them when you've had a look at me and hopefully you will um, if you would like to subscribe to any of us or all of us that would be absolutely fantastic um, today's topic we're all doing um, we're all doing the same thing but we just put a different spin on it and the subject today is um, summer sandals or shoes and summer bags um, I'm going to try and keep my video as short as I can because um, I know one of the things that the ladies like to do is to have um, four or five very short videos so that you can sit down and comfortably watch them at one sitting while you're having perhaps the same cup of tea or something. Um, and I know anyone that knows me will know I do have a tendency to tell stories and go on a bit so I'm going to do my darndest not to do that. So um, let's get on with the video. See you in a moment. Right, I've roughly paired a pair of shoes with a bag, but obviously, well not obviously, but these are kind of interchangeable because they're all similar colours really. So the first bag to show you is this one from Peacocks, which is £18. So, shoulder bag. Try and put this down a little bit. Sorry, it's a bit squeaky. Um, fairly basic bag, black straps, sort of faux leather with a nice design on, sort of shades of brown and black I think. Good size for holidays with a popper fastening, no zip. Um, and with these I have bought a, potentially could go with this bag, these shoes from Sainsbury's. They are sandals. Um, oh, wrong way round. <laughs> Two left feet. Um, these are Hot On Your Heels branded, um, but with a 2 from Sainsbury's label on it. These are £20. I like these. They cover my feet well. I'm a size 8. Well, seven between a 7 and an 8. Um, usually a size 8. And my feet are quite wide. And I did try and find wider fit if I could. A nice sole that's quite fashionable I think. The fastening is quite good on these for us old dears. Um, you know, I'm, I, I don't have mobility problems thank goodness but I have had hip surgery, a hip replacement in the past and I've got arthritis in my back and my hip which sometimes makes it a bit difficult to reach down and, and you know get in those awkward little places. So these have got a good little bit of velcro on the straps so they just pull apart but I didn't need to do that. So these potentially, nice pair of shoes here with this nice bag. So interested to know what you think. So that's the first one. The second bag is perhaps a little bit slightly more dressy I'd say if you if you like. Um, the I thought this was a good idea putting the shoes in the bag but it's per perhaps not so this is a Primark bag um, sort of fawn coloured it's £18 it's got a little holder thing which I imagine you put your keys in because there is a key ring thing in there I'm not sure how good that is but or how convenient we've got two sets of straps 
extendable stra shoulder strap and handbag straps. You can, can you? No, you can't remove the, the strap, so you're kind of stuck with them, I suppose. Um, we've got three compartments, uh, a zip compartment and two others either side. And maybe these might look nice with them. These are from Sainsbury's again, two. Um, these are £20. They're kind of espadrille um, uh, wedges. They've got a, a chisel toe. There's a little bit of um, contrasting fabric on the toe. I don't know how well that will come up on here. The shoe is, the, the upper here is um, almost like a sort of suede. You've got this bit here, the heel has got a little gap in it. Um, the I won't be keeping these because I don't suit straps around my ankle because it just doesn't doesn't do me any favours frankly but I think they're a nice pair of shoes they fitted me quite comfortably I just couldn't do them up because of the um, the awkwardness with you know bending bending down I would I need someone else to put to do them up for me it's like being five again really isn't it so I thought those with whoops with this was quite a good combination Let me know what you think. The next one, this is a little bit of a cheat because these shoes um, are what I had already. But I think I might, sh I can't remember if I showed them to you on a video previously. These are from Bon Prix and um, I think I probably did. I don't know how much they are. I did try and see if they still had them on their website and I couldn't find them. But for the purposes of this video, I just teamed them up with this little bag. So we've got a phone bag, which is um, khaki colour. This is from New Look. They did a fawn colour and the khaki colour. So this is quite big enough to put your purse in, your credit cards, obviously your phone. Um, nice little shoulder bag. Really, that's going to be really handy when, when we go away. Or just when... You know, just when you go shopping. This one is $14.99. I think I told you that bag was, I told you the price of that bag, didn't I? It was um, so professional this, isn't it? <clears throat> I think I did. £18 and the shoes were 20 So this is um, £14.99. And these shoes, just as a to, to kind of put them with something, I can't remember how much they were, and they're probably not available anyway. But they're quite cute if you ever see them anywhere. They're like a sort of um, that sort of suede stuff again. I'm putting the by the way, putting new shoes on the table, but I'm not considering them new shoes anymore because I've had them for ages. So, unless <laughs> I hope nothing awful happens to me. Right, the next combination I've got for you is another little bag that I got from Primark oops from Primark I'm balancing everything here um, this was in the sale reduced from 12 to 6 pounds a cute little denim handbag <coughs> sorry oh, sorry about that yeah so um, I don't can't remember where I was but anyway this cute little bag reduced it was half price um, I think that would go quite nicely with these shoes I got from Peacocks a few weeks ago which are proving to be quite comfy so they I think they were on one of the videos I did so I thought they were quite a good combination um, just to mention going a bit rogue from the bags and shoes thing I, when I was in H&M I went into H&M and I saw this um, sarong and sorry I hope that didn't creep too much and I, I thought it was absolutely lovely. Now, I bought this because I thought it's a really nice summer cover-up for, not just if you're on the beach and you want to use it as a sarong, but if you're going out for the evening, it would fit nicely into any of these bags, to be quite honest. And you could use it as a little wrap-around to keep the sun off or just take the chill off of your shoulders. And I thought the colours on it were beautiful. They're like watercolours, really. And I thought they'd go with all basically all the bags that are here. So... 
I bought that from H&M and it was <clears throat> 14.99 made from recycled polyester that's a really pretty pattern so I don't know what you think about that but I thought that was quite cute um, moving on to while we're on the subject of H&M I'm back again um, I bought these sliders which are these are probably the most expensive thing actually these are $21.99 and they're a size 8 did I say I'm a size 8 I've got wide feet um, with a nice sort of plaiting design here the footbed is shaped which I've seen a lot of shoes like that this season um, I can't say for certain but I'm thinking possibly they're all right round a swimming pool because they feel like they're not you know maybe water resistant but I don't suppose it says that on them so you know you I don't want to give you the wrong information but that's kind of how they feel they don't feel like you know faux leather or anything but pe perhaps they are um does it tell me what they're made of no oh hang on no it just says it's man-made stuff so I don't know but I thought these were really cute and I thought potentially they might look nice with this little bag here which is from who are we from who's this one from this is from Peacocks again and it's a nice little oval shaped um, straw effect bag with a bit of leather type trim on it none of this is leather obviously but I thought this kind of went quite well with the, the trim on here if you see what I mean and um, it's got one of these nice thick straps which seem to be doing the rounds now don't they and I think I think these are actually a really good idea I don't know why we've put as women that wear bags on their shoulders why we have to put up with thin little straps that cut in but this is um I think this is quite cute so this is um this it's just a uh, there's nothing inside there's no I don't think there's any pockets or anything let me have a look no but you certainly can get quite a lot of stuff in there when you're on your holiday um or just perhaps going out to you know for the evening to a barbecue or something the straps are detachable so yep yeah, there's this one with I think look quite good with these shoes right so there's that one I have by the way just at the end I'll add it to the end of the video done a um, just a, 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 all the bags I bought and the shoes um, just sort of displayed them a little bit when I say display just put them with the bags with some shoes that look quite nice I thought just to give you a bit of an overview really I mean obviously you don't have to wear anything with anything I've said but it's just a you know just a bit of a guide really because I know it's not easy really to see things um, you know on this on the video sometimes um, I did those I did those have I done everything so I've done that bag that bag that bag the scarf yeah, I think that's everything. Um, yeah, so I've tried to, to be as quick as I can and to show you everything. I hope you liked some of the bits and pieces I bought. I'm sorry about the phone going off and I'm sorry about the door making a noise in the background. There's a bit of a through draft here. And it's quite a nice day today, so, you know, what can I do? Um, it's really good to, for you to have watched me today. Thank you so much. If you um, are new and haven't seen me before, you know, I, I hope you've enjoyed the content. Um, come and find my uh, channel anytime. And um, also, please, if uh, you don't subscribe to any of the, le the other ladies, please do so. Go and have a look at their channels. They are really good. I mean, I'd be any time, you know, I've always watched all of their channels. So um, I'm not just <laughs> I'm not just saying it. I really like their content. They're lovely, lovely ladies and uh, very re very relatable. And and they're all different from from each other. So you know, there's there's someone for everybody in there. And um, yeah, I hope you'll come and visit me again. 
So take good care of yourself and I'll see you on my next video. So bye bye for now. Bye bye.